We made it. This is the last video of the running series. I am running days 11 through 15, which is more than I expected myself to run throughout the entire month. But running every other day has taught me a lot of lessons. And in this last video, I'm going to be doing a lot about recovery. And um, I'm really excited to share this with you. It's right up there. Gotta make this like. <laughs> All right, welcome back to uh, episode three. This is day 11. In the first video, I unboxed this pair of shoes. And in the second video, I unboxed all birds. But now we're in episode three. I am not buying another pair of shoes. I've got two pairs of running shoes, both of them pretty good, but now it's time to choose. We're gonna be, we're gonna be running in these, the neons. I'm gonna do the first run of day 11 without any recovery. And as we move forward into the following days, I'm gonna try to learn as much as possible. I feel like it's gonna start raining. I'm actually going to try to run while having my partner on the phone. All right, say hi, Sam. Howdy, everybody. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the running series so far? Um, it's good. I know you hate it some days and you like it some days, but that's running. While I'm running, you're gonna be the, the coach to keep me at a conversational rate, to keep me around that zone two, zone three area uh, and not really going above it. Uh, if you say so. Okay, well. Do it. Throughout the duration of the challenge, I never really felt like I wasn't capable of it. I'm pretty young. I feel like I need to work on myself and That's I don't beautiful. necessarily have all the muscle built up to be able to run efficiently, but I never had a day where I told myself it's impossible for me to get out there. I always left the door open to be able to complete at least that day's run. That felt great. Wow. I think it's the running, I think it's the rain, I think that it's getting warmer outside, I think the beauty of the blossoms, I think that last push and having Sam in my ear cheering me on, that was amazing. What I found out so far, it's always the days that you think you're gonna hate it the most, that you end up really liking it the most. <laughs> what a nice rush. This chalk over here is perfect. Always do your best. Um, one second, Wayne. I'm with Wayne. Uh, we're going to a Broadway show. Yeah, yeah, it's like a magic show. I just biked here and then also ran from the bike station to here to get here on time. But uh, my legs are super weak. Um, I felt like I was going to fall down these stairs and I just wanted to document that. Um, <laughs> I need to work on recovery so bad. I can't trust my legs right now. Welcome to day 12. This is my latest run yet. I had an incredibly busy day. The whole day I was thinking I should have done my run right when I woke up. I should have done it right when I woke up because I didn't have any time. Um, everything was just happening and just being terrible. And um, now it is 8, almost 9 p.m. It is dark outside and I have to go do this run. For me with running, I always felt like I was a good runner, but immediately when I got out there the first time, I wasn't good. <laughs> I wasn't good at all. And throughout this challenge for all 15 runs, I never felt good at it. Since the beginning of this challenge, that has always felt like the challenge, is to just have the discipline to tell myself to do it, the willpower to tell myself to do something and to actually follow through and execute it. It's been helping me in other aspects of my life, making these videos with getting up and actually cooking food instead of eating out. It's all about discipline, and it's all stuff that I wanted to work on. It's all stuff that I want to get better at. It's day 13, 7 p.m., and I still haven't done my run today. I've had the entire day off. I haven't done any research on stretches. I haven't done anything, and admitting this to you hurts <laughs> me a little bit. Like, it makes me feel like I'm incapable and can't do sh It's stuff that I know I need to do that I'm just not doing. It's like a little bit of ADHD in there. Looked up some stretching, and like 
scrolling through these videos and I haven't clicked on a single one just cause like they, they don't look that interesting. And uh, part of me is thinking like, is this series even interesting? But I really want to document the series and put it out there because for me, seeing other people work on themselves inspires me to work on myself. And I guess I just kind of want to be one of those people that other people watch and go, yeah, I want to work on myself too. They're doing it. Why can't I? So I'm doing this series, but like I feel completely incapable of doing the research to provide accurate information to you. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. And I have this real high expectation of myself as somebody who wants to do YouTube full time to be able to give you the best most accurate information on running, but I, all I can do is give you my experience. And before going on this run today, I guess I'm gonna procrastinate a little bit more and try to do a little bit of research on stretching. I think at its core, this was a lesson of execution and actually following through with something that I'm telling myself I'm gonna do. That's what this series really meant to me, but I also feel like I learned a lot about running. <laughs> I'm still not a good runner, <laughs> and I don't know if I ever really will be, but I really have, I have these hopes now of being able to run like a marathon. Like the New York City Marathon would be incredible, but that is a long ways away. Doing this challenge only makes me realize just how incredible it is that people can run a marathon, and it makes me want to achieve that as well. So it is getting dark, but um, running better with Ash. Incredible videos. I found his content helpful, I gave it a like, and I'm actually gonna subscribe to him because this guy right here, Ash, super, super helpful. So what did I learn? I learned that I need to do some dynamic stretching, the beginning, so lots of movements in the stretches, and then afterwards, it's a lot of static stretches. If you're contemplating making a change in your life, don't hesitate. Go do it. It's not as hard as it seems. The hardest part is starting. <laughs> and once you get done with starting, you realize one of two things. You either realize it's not as bad as it was in your head, or you realize what you need to work on, and then that thing that you need to work on is the next challenge. And that's all that you need to do. That's really what I learned in this series and kept learning what I needed to work on in order to complete that main goal that was not as hard as I thought it would be. So those stretches are nice, but I don't feel their effect right now. It's not much different from the stretches I'd be doing either way. You guys remember this tree, the pretty tree with all the blossoms? They pruned it. It smells like wood, but all the blossoms look dead. These are the same blossoms I showed in the last video. Just dead looking. This wasn't about looking good. It was about feeling good, feeling stronger, feeling like I could actually do what I set my mind to. In doubts crept in that maybe running would hurt me more than help me, but I went out there and I did it. And it was never as bad as I thought it would be. This run felt so standard, felt great. I didn't push myself too hard, but at the end I did try to push and it felt really good. Completed that mile. I don't know what my pace was, but I didn't stop to walk. I really kept running and don't feel like I'm gonna die right now. So whatever pace I just did might be my new normal. I'm interested to figure out what that is. Hey, it's day 14. We are getting so close to the end of this series, and I gotta say, like, I want to run, but the weather is bad. It is not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. It's gonna be freezing. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be wet. And I don't really, I don't, I don't want to run. I'm gonna wait a little longer to see if it clears up or stops, but it's been downpouring all day today. Pretty good. What did, time. what did you find out? It's light rain is stopping in four minutes and then starting again 30 minutes later. That means that it's, oh my God. <laughs> Perfect window Yes. for me to do the run. It's gonna be the suckiest run. The current temperature in New York is 42 degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 34. Oh! Who do I wanna be? 
do I want to be somebody who quits when things get tough or do I want to be someone who charges through it that can prove to himself that he can go do something not to anyone else but to himself that when I set my mind to something I can go do it it's so cool even though this wasn't the most difficult challenge in the world, it wasn't easy. It really meant a lot to me to just have someone behind me. I think that everyone needs somebody to just say, yes, go do it. Keep doing it. And that's really all you need to just keep yourself going sometimes. At least the weather was accurate and it isn't downpouring right now. This wasn't just about running a mile every other day. It was about becoming a better me and documenting that and showing that, I, I mean, if I can do it, that anybody else can do it. I'm gonna say right now, for those that thought that I was gonna back down from a challenge like this, you're silly. This is cold, it sucks, but it's the second to last run. And I know, I'm not gonna let this one be the one that I don't do. I could easily, easily fool you. It's a thinking that I did this run tomorrow. I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit. The second day before this is over. Next time you hear a voice in your head that says, I can't, just remember this like partially sweaty face and just think to yourself that even the smallest tasks seem difficult until you actually get to them. I did. Oh, I'm so wet. It cold. It's tired. Well, we made it. This is day 15 out of the possible 15 days out of the month. I'm really excited. Um, to make this one a little special, I'm gonna go run on a track to exactly measure one mile. Um, not only show how I've improved being able to run, but also just be able to mark down exactly how I've improved with running. This is the first fitness challenge that I've actually stuck with until the last day. This is also one of the first times I ran on a track since high school, running track and field. I can't tell you how anxious I was to finish these four laps. It's time. Here we go. It's time. Here we go. We're gonna stop watch here. It's gonna be running the whole time. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is what I've been working towards for the entire month. There you go. Three, two, one, go. And he's off. I tried not to overexert myself throughout the running, but I wanted to make sure that I could finish very strongly. Because one thing that really determined if I improved is if I got a good time. Sometimes improvement isn't all about the best time. It isn't always about getting stronger. Sometimes it's just about learning lessons that you needed to learn in order to get better. And coming up to my third lap on this track, right when I was thinking, maybe I just walk. Nobody would care if I just walk. I immediately felt the presence of all the people that supported me through this challenge. One person specifically came to mind, my mom. Anytime I had a track event, you could hear her above everybody else in the crowd screaming, kick it. And you wouldn't believe what I heard from one of the kids in the middle of the field. underneath 951 because that was my best recorded mile throughout the whole month on Strava. Let me show the camera first. <laughs> okay. Ready. I want your time is 910. Screenshotting that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it freaking knocked out of the park. <laughs> yeah. 
And when I started this challenge, I didn't think that I would like this. <laughs> but I'm really starting to like this.